truck and his solid gold piano was burnt beyond recognition. But some folks say if you listen to the wind on cold winter's nights, you can still hear him out there playing that honky tonkin' music. Boo! <laughs> Good. Good, yeah, story, good, good story, Clem. Good story, Clem. Good story. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Hi, yeah. oh, Petey. Good, good to see you. Oh, I've got a newspaper for you, Billy. Oh, thank you, Petey. Hey, Petey, why don't you hang around? I think Clem's about to tell another story. Oh, well, I'd love to, if that's okay with you, Clem. <laughs> would you please? Well, yeah, would you I please don't... tell a story, Clem, please? Tell another story. Okay, this is a shorty but a goodie. <laughs> All right. Now, I got chair twins. It was two girls, normal in every way. Except, uh, at birth, they were joined together by a ten-foot piece of chain between their ankles. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Now, the first day that their daddy let them out of the root cellar, they took a vote, nice and democratic-like, and voted two to zero to go fishing. <laughs> now they get down to the river. Mary turns to Alice and says, uh, where's the pole? Alice says, I don't bring no pole. No pole. She said, where's the bait? She says, I don't bring no bait. No bait. We said, get on back to the house and get it. Alice says, to hell with that, grabs Mary, throws her in the water. Darn it. Ten minutes later, they aren't looking at the biggest catfish this county ever saw. Oh, oh, I see that catfish. It's at the mayor's office. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What a great story. Yeah. 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 What a great story. Clay, would you tell us another story, story. please? Would you please? Would you tell us another story, please? Oh, I'm getting a little dry here. Oh, please, Clem. Well. Clem. Why don't you tell us one about Three Thumb Jake? Yeah, tell us a story about Three Thumb. Oh, you want to hear a Three Thumber? Oh, yes, sir. sir. Okay. All right, now I remember that night in question that uh, Three Thumb Jake told me this story because uh, he gave me this here coffee coupon, which I have yet to redeem. Yeah. Now, he admits that he'd been drinking on the night in question, but he still swears to God he was out night fishing, and he saw a spherical object descend from the sky. The doors open. And these aliens began unloading crates of Bigfoots. Crate after crate of Bigfoots. Now he sees them, and they next! see Next! What? What? What do you mean, next? Next? I mean, next, the haircut's over. Haircut's never over. No! Well, it's over this time, Billy. There's not another hair to cut, therefore the haircut's over. Well, well just wait a minute. His sideburns ain't even. Oh, yeah. His sideburns is way out of whack. They're horrible. Oh, oh sir. Yeah. Haircut ain't done with sideburns. No, no, no. Three and a half. Three and a half. Of course they're even. You know the math specialty. Of course they are. There's a hair in the middle of his head sticking up like a shikitawa. There is a hair. There's a long hair. I thought there might be a little old hair. All right, all right, all right, all right. So with those giant green suction cups on the yeah. bottom of their feet, they begin ascending a telephone pole to get a better view of Three Thumb Jake, right? They're going up. <laughs> Next! How do I look? Uh, fine, sir. Then I guess I'm done. You're so clear. Oh, well, uh, hell, how much are you there, Clemens? <laughs> oh, well, to be about not, not a blessed thing, your man is no good here. Best head of hair I ever cut. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, take care, pretty. I sure did enjoy all your storytelling, Clem. Well, thank you. Billy, take care now. Hey, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Idiot boy. <laughs> hey, hey, now, idiot boy, come on now. Hey, now, you mind your drooling now, you hear? Some folks, they don't, they don't kinder to that. Clam, oh, well. take care of that part. Don't let any pretty women mess it up. <laughs> Hell, now, don't you go worrying about me and pretty women. <laughs> I guess that'd be me. Once upon a time, there was this eel monkey, and he had himself a bull on head. And everybody would come around laughing at him, and they would make him eat Bullum must... Bullum head? What the hell's a Bullum head? Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> 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 
You know, the one thing I know about Clem's hair, it grows. He'll be back. Lots of folks have bullet heads. I've seen them shopping and laughing and loving. I've seen them with their big bullet heads. <laughs> <laughs>